What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are rocking out with an absolute banger of a team. We are using a Honchkrow team that features Life Orb Lucario and everyone's favorite Sinnoh starter, Infernape. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Let's go, people. Scroll down a little bit. Click that big red subscribe button. It only takes two seconds of your guys' time, and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So I really, I really do appreciate all my subscribers. You guys, you guys are definitely the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to also let you guys know I've been saying this in most videos, but go follow my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. We post uh, updates on everything. I'm gonna start uh, using it to like uh, interact with you guys a little bit more. So if you guys want to DM me or just like tweet at me, I love to comment back. I love to talk to you guys. And if you guys want to send me rental teams for Sword and Shield, go over there as well. Also, you guys know I'm paired up or partnered up with Short Circuit Gaming. It's an esports organization. We got plenty of content coming to you guys way. Giveaways, new Rocket League content over on their channel. So go follow them on their uh, social media platforms. Link is down in the description below, obviously. And uh, you guys are going to see some cool content and for the giveaways coming very, very soon. But uh, let's get started here with uh, the team preview. We got Hanshi Crow over here. I love this Pokemon so much. Dark and flying type with the Focus Sash. We're rocking the Insomnia as its ability, and we're rocking Sucker Punch, Night Slash, Tailwind, and Brave Bird. So we can go for Speed Control. We can go for heavy hitting moves like Night Slash, Brave Bird. And then we have first turn priority moves with Sucker Punch. So I really do like this Pokemon. I think he's super good all around. Second Pokemon on the squad, we are rocking out with Lucario. I love this Pokemon. Hits like an absolute truck with that Life Orb. We got Roar Spirit, Nasty Plot to set up, Flash Cannon, and Protect. Love it so much. We're rocking Inner Focus so we can't be. Uh, what is it? Faked out, turn one. And then we got that life form, which is a gorgeous item for this Pokemon. Next Pokemon on squad is Garchomp. Do I have to say anything about it? Yachi Berry, Rough Skin, normal moveset. Not really normal moveset. It doesn't have Swords Dance, so uh, we'll go over it. It's Dragon Call, EQ, Rock Slide, Protect. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy, but it's Garchomp. He's an absolute beast in this format. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is my boy right here, Infernape. We got Fake Out, we got Close Combat, we got Flare Blitz in U turn. So we can Fake Out, Flinch, Letter. Uh, ally Pokemon set up or get like a Tailwind, Dragon Dance, something along those lines, get rolling with the squad. We can do big damage with Flare Blitz in close combat, or we can pivot out with U turn. Really like this Pokemon, think he's super, super strong all around. We're rocking the Blaze ability, and then for its item, we're rocking the extra belt to make super effective moves, do a bit more damage. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Gary the Gyarados over here. So good in this format. Like, dude, this Pokemon is amazing in this format. We gave it to Lumberry as the item, Rocket Intimidate as his ability, and then this amazing moveset of Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect. I probably should have thrown uh, Ice Fang on this one, but it's all good. It is all good. Final Pokemon on the squad is our Raikou over here. And Raikou's solid. He's really, really bulky and really good at setting up. It's got Calm Mind to set up, get that special defense boost alongside with that special attack boost and it's got thunderbolt for stab snarl to drop special attack and then last but not least it's rock and protect also just like lucario it has the inner focus ability and then this item is going to be leftovers to give it hp at the end of every single turn but guys there it is there's a squad we're going to be rocking out with it today let's hop into that coliseum let's grab you guys some wins we're hopping into our first battle and before we actually get after it i want to let you guys know about the discount codes that me and scg are actually bringing you guys we got five percent off code acquire which is their merchandise store the link is down in the description below and we got 10 percent off rogue energy both codes are going to be code short circuit and everything's going to be down in the link in the description below so if you guys are interested definitely go check it out like i said link down in the description below and if you guys pick up anything any acquire merch or any uh rogue energy let me know in the comment section down below I would love to get back to you guys, and I would love to know what you guys picked up. But like I said, code short circuit for 5% off acquire, 10% off uh, rogue energy. But we're hopping into our first battle, going up against a pretty cool team. But our opponent picked four, two to six Pokemon, so I feel like we have to roll in with six, but I'm going to roll in with four anyway. I'm going to roll in with four anyway. He's got really cool Pokemon. Milotic, Flygon, Blaziken, Toxic, Mawile, and then last but not least, he's rolling out with that uh, Electivire. Electivire is kind of scary, but I think we should be fine rolling into like Infernape Gyarados, maybe trying to set up here, or I can roll into Lucario. Lucario. Okay, I do like Gyarados, though. I wish we did have our ice move. But still, I still like my boy Gary. I still love me some Gary. So I'm going to roll in with them, too. I am going to bring Lucario in the back end. And then I just think Garchomp just does some work. Right? Garchomp just does some work. We got to bring in Garchomp. Let's roll into it. Let's roll into it. I'm digging it all day. We're going to say no to the uh, Tailwind and Speed Control. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Hopefully, he's not bringing all six. Then I'd be a little upset. Blaze can hit Milo Milo. So come here. Okay. Let's get Milo Milo's gonna come out here. Um, what's our play call here? What is our play call? So we're gonna intimidate that Blaze which isn't bad. I think we just fake out the Blaze. Oh, is this thing competitive? That could be ugly. That could be ugly. It's not competitive. That's lovely. And he brought six. Son of a biscuit. So he brought six. I'm just gonna fake out Blazy. Because I think it could be Focus Ash. And I'm gonna Dragon Answer. 
I'm just gonna D-dance up and we're gonna get rolling. He's gonna withdraw my lead. That's huge. That is huge. We'll take that all day. And he's gonna go into Electivire. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. And he's just gonna detect this place. Okay. That's a fine turn for me. That's a fine turn for me. So I'm a little worried about that Electivire, but I think I could just like double down into it here, right? I think I could just double down, but Dragon Dance setting up here with a 4v6 is really good for us. So we D-dance up. I could U-turn pivot if I wanted to. This thing's gonna get a speed boost, and uh, I don't, I'm not sure who's gonna be faster. I'm not sure who's gonna be faster. Is it gonna be Gyarados? Good hard swap into Garchomp. And I'm thinking I just wanna like close combat, you know? Do that, and then just waterfall across here. I do you dig that? Yeah, cool. I outspeed. Is he sashed? That's the real question. Is he sashed? He is Sash. You little biscuit. Should have known that, though. Should have definitely known that. So we're going to do that. And then Close Combat's going to... Oh, he's actually going to... Oh, Blaze can do it. With the Shadow Claw. That's fine. We soaked that up all day. And am I in front of going to drop a Close Combat? Can we take you out with this? We do not. That's tough news. That's tough news. If this thing discharges, that could be some wicked damage. But I think it's just going to Thunder Punch into my uh, Gary, right? Yeah. Can we eat this somehow? Probably not, right? Yeah, we're dead. Dang it, dude. God dang it. Okay. So what's called is going to be fast on the field. Boyskin's going to be fast on the field. And that's a little scary. That is a little scary. Because I have no first turn priority. But I just feel like going into a Pokemon like Garchomp here. And ooh, I want to drop an EQ so bad. But I can't. I can't drop an EQ. I cannot drop an EQ. I cannot do that. I cannot drop an EQ. I cannot drop an EQ. We're just going to U-turn out into Lucario. Just so we get our defense back. And then drop a Dragon Claw into Electivire. Right? Yeah, that's, that's gotta be our play. Dang, yo, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough, tough. We know both my Pokemon outspeed the Electivire, which is really, really good. But I really needed my Gyarados. I really needed my Gyarados, so I should have went into the uh, Electivire with a Waterfall. That could have just taken him out. We're sitting in a tough spot. We're sitting in a tough spot. I would obviously love to win the 4v6, but you guys know the deal. If I... if I, Oh, nice detect with him. Actually, that's an okay detect. He's gonna take speed boost again, but he's already fastest. But uh, what was I just about to say? Um, if I, if I KO four Pokemon, I count that as a win all day for me. But Dragon Call can poke out here. Bang, we take out Lycan Fire all day. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to U-turn and pivot out. I mean, I could drop a Rock Slide. Rock Slide could be a play. Rock Slide into U-turn onto the other Pokemon. I do dig that. I do dig that. But our defense is down. That's why I want to pivot out. My friend name's just weak. He's weak. Flygon's going to come out here. Yeah, we're going to... Uh... Do I still drop a Rock Slide? I'm thinking of just doing this now. Just in case this Flygon wants to protect, I can, you know, just Dragon Claw like this. You turn out. I'm with that. I'm with that all day. I like that. He's gonna reversal. Oh, yo, this thing's dropping a reversal? Chill on me, man. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. What is this? Get out of here. He's gonna U-turn out. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. I need that Blaziken. Come on, Blaziken just does me so dirty. Just does me so dirty. Just does me so dirty, but I need the KO for Pokemon. This guy's ripping with Blaziken. Blaziken's a huge threat. Mawile's gonna come out here. Solid turn in. Is this thing fairy type here? I think fairy type in this game. <laughs> I think it is. Is this stealing fairy? Yeah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Speed boost's gonna come out here. Uh, I think at this point we bring out Lucario and we protect him and just go for the EQ, right? Gotta be my play. That's gotta be my play. It's like my one last hope here. <laughs> so one last hope. We gotta hope that he's coming in with like a, a fire move into my Lucario. And we just protect it. And then we're able to get off this EQ, which would be gorgeous. Which would be gorgeous. It would be lovely. But we'll see. We shall see. If I can get rid of, if if this turn can work out, if we can if he can uh go into my Lucario with a Blaziken and my Garchomp can survive and get off an EQ, this turn could be enormous. We could definitely still win the, the 4v4 situation. He's gonna detect, that's cool by me. Actually, kind of not really. I kind of don't like it. Lucario is going to protect. Let's see what he does. Mawile, go into Lucario. Garchomp's going to drop an EQ. This is just, this just stinks because he's going to be able to dump on me here. Do I go for another protect this turn? I don't know, man. He's going to dump on me, man. EQ comes out here. We don't even take out Mawile. That's rough, dude. That's rough. That's rough. He's going to play rough. And, oh, I dodged it. I dodged it. I dodged it. But, yo, that Blaze, can. We're going to have to go for double protect. We know he's coming into me. We're doing this. We're running. We're running the, the EQ. Land is double protect. We're, we're banking on RNG. Loki odds, let's go. 
Nah, Poke Gods. Let's go. Let's go, Poke Gods. I need this here. Could you imagine? Oh, dude, get out of my face. Sucker Punch coming in. It fails. That's cool. So you can go for a reversal. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can we eat that? Oh. Blaze can drops. Lucario, I need you to eat up the CQ. Thank you very much. Lucario, I need you to eat up the CQ. Thank you very much. Lucario, eat up the CQ. All day. Oh, Lucario, I love you. Okay, hold up. Hold up. We might be able to win our 4v4. We might be able to win this 4v4, but yo, that Blaze can did us dirty. So that's three KOs. We need one more. We need one more. A good thing we actually did protect us. And if not, Lucario would have been dead to the sucker punch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We'll take that all day. Flygon's gonna come out here. That is fine. That is fine. And he's gonna bring out Toxic Croak. So Croak's coming out here. He's pretty fast, not gonna lie. And uh I think we're gonna have to double down. Double down and a flag on here? I could EQ, but Dragon Claw's gonna be, be my play. Yeah, double down a flag on. He's just gonna drop a sucker punch. You son of a biscuit. Rocket sucker punch. Get out of my face. Rough skin's gonna chip up damage, and that's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG's. That is gonna be GG's. I wish I did bring the six Pokemon, but it is what it is. It is what it is. But we take that all day. We'll take that all day. Flag on outspeeds. He's gonna be able to U turn out. And oh, we actually eat. We actually eat. So hopefully, get, wait a minute. Hopefully, he goes to something we can want that. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? But I think he led the Milotic. I think he's going to go back into Milotic, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Milotic is his final Pokemon. And that, that's just easy eats for him. That's just easy eats. Roar Spear coming in hot. Uh, send it. Bill chipping up some damage. Actually did a lot more than I thought. And Life Orb brings us home one. And I'm going to run this battle. I'm going to run this battle because I don't want my poor little Lucario dying. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number one in the bag. We go on one. Could have definitely been a different battle if we did have all of our Pokemon. Because if you think about it, I would have had my Raikou. And I would have had who else on my squad? I totally forget. Who did I bring? Hold up. Who did I bring? Who else? Oh, and Honchko. Honchko could have did some work. Definitely could have did some work. But we're going to run this battle. We're going to hop through a second battle. And uh, let's grab ourselves our first win for today's video. We're rolling in battle number two. We're going up against the same opponent, and I picked the rules this time. This time we're rocking 4v4, so let's give this guy a whooping and grab ourselves a win here. He's got that same squad. I think I should lead Honchkrow here. Honchkrow could definitely give us speed control, which could be good, but Blaziken's in such a pain, man. Blaziken is such a pain. I kind of want to lead Gyarados just as a nice little, like, intimidate lead. Could work wonders. Definitely could work wonders. We could go into Raikou here as well. Raikou could be solid. Just for that electric and that, that uh... The Snarl Drop could work wonders. Could definitely work wonders. But at the same time, it's just like, eh. Do I really want that? Not really. I could go Infernape Gyarados, which works pretty well. Fake Out Control. Maybe a Dragon Dance setup. Kind of roll off from there. I do like it. I do like that. I do like that. Uh, we could go Hanch. I kind of like Hanch here, too. But Infernape's just type nice. He is just type nice. Type nice right up here. Uh, yeah. Let's go Infernape. Let's go Gyarados. And then we're going to bring in... Lucario, Garchomp, is that the same squad we had last time? i kind of down to go same squad. I'm kind of down. I definitely want Garchomp, because Garchomp, this is, he just does work. And I think I'm going to bring Honchko instead of Lucario, just so we can have somebody that Garchomp can just, like, freely EQ with. So, I do I do dig it. I do dig it, but well, let's grab ourselves a win here. We're sitting at 0-1. We're sitting at 0-1, so we got to win this battle. Blaze King comes out here, I think it's such a pain. But I think we just fake out the Flygon. I think we just fake out the Flygon, set up a Dragon. Dance. That boy is going to detect all day. He's detecting all day. There's no doubt in my mind. And this thing, and that fly guy might U-turn out. Actually, if he's going to go for a U-turn, we're just going to fake it out. You know what? Yeah. D-dance. Pop it off. Bang. Fake out. Pop it off. Run it. Run it up. Run up. Go ahead. Detect. Detect, Blaziken. Please. Please. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Nice little read from Jeans here. We're going to be able to fake out this fly guy. No problem. And I'm going to get off a free Dragon Dance. That is huge. That is huge. Okay, so from here... Uh... What do we do? Double down the uh, Blazy here? Blazy's just such a huge threat. I think we double down the Blazy here. We double down the Blazy. You turn and a waterfall. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this battle. Whatever he wants to go into, I'll double down into it. If he wants to swap into a uh, Milotic. That would be a great call, but I don't know if he's rocking it. I do not know if he's rocking it. Milo, Milo. Yeah, this Blazkin has got to go. So hopefully he stays in. If he stays in here, this could be a huge turn for us. It'd be a huge turn for us. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna witch off fly. Ooh, I'll take it. He's gonna witch off fly gun. Who are you gonna go into? Maul Wild's gonna come in here. Maul Wild's coming in here. That's totally fine by me. He's gonna intimidate. Oh, I forgot. Thing learns intimidate. That, that, that's that's awesome. 
That's such a good move. But Blaze can still shouldn't be able to hit, really handle too much here. Let's see what happens here. Gyarados is going to go first. We're going to pop the Sash. And as long as he doesn't take out my beautiful monkey over here, we should be chilling. He's going to go for Shadow Call. Yeah, my Pokemon should be able to surf that up. Beautiful. We love it. Shadow Call comes out here. And we get off the U turn. That's huge. U turn comes out here. And I think at this point, we just bring out our chomp, right? We just bring out the chomp. Really EQ. Kind of roll off from there. I really like that. Chomp, or I could go with with the Hanchi, dude. Now nah, I'm going to save my Hanchi. I'm going to save my Hanchi. Cool. Okay, so we're going to bring out the chomp. I know the thing is fairy typing. I know it is fairy typing. We could double down into it, but who's he going to go into? He's going to go into Electivire. He's going to go into Milo. Milo, Milo's going to poke out here. So I just think we uh, drop three EQs here. And I think we double down into all while with an EQ yeah I'm digging that I am digging that he might swap back into fly on which would be a smart call but he doesn't okay cool so mall is gonna take some damage here and I think Garchomp should go next yeah beautiful so mall wild goes out huge that is huge the boy's buzzing the boy's buzzing and we did a that did a lot of damage to Milo 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 out of here out of here we're not Milo Milo out of here Maul while out of here, but Milo's doing some damage. We're doing some damage. He's gonna pop an ice beam. My Yachi Berry coming in hot. Yachi Berry coming in hot. We love it all day. So he's gonna have to go into Flygon. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Yachi Berry clutching up. I think we just crunch into Milo Milo and we just chip up some damage. Or I could Dragon Dance. I could definitely Dragon Dance again this turn, which would be nice, but I just don't see the need. I do not see the need for it. So Flygon's in poke. How you doing, Flygon? Such a cool Pokemon. Definitely should do a BDSP video on it. And I'm just going to drop a crunch into Milo. And I'm just going to Dragon Claw into Flygon. Because Flygon might protect and then he might go for another Ice Beam. But if that's the case, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We have, we have plenty of back-end Pokemon with uh, Lucario and Infernape. Or not Lucario, Honchkrow and uh, Infernape. Which is cool. I think we should be fine. He's just going to drop an Outreach. This thing outspeeds me. Wow. He outspeeds me. And he goes after Gyarados. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day because both my Pokemon will get a turn off here. Crunch is going to chip up some big damage. And I believe Dragon Claw should just be able to fly out here and finish off this uh, Flygon, right? Dragon Claw coming in hot. Aye. Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. Look at that. Yeah, we versed our same opponent from our first battle. He went 64. He actually he did good in that battle. We didn't kill four of his Pokemon. He grabbed himself to win. And now when we go 4v4, your boy just dominates. Your boy just dominates. So he's predicting the Protect here. That's totally fine. I still keep my Guard Chomp. Gyarados is going to uh, go out, and I'm going to just bring out Honchkrow to finish this battle off. I think our opponent runs it anyway. Let's go. Let's go. The boy Gene's buzzing. We buzzing. We buzzing here. Hanchi coming out here. How you doing, Hanch? How you doing, Hanch? We're just going to drop a nice, lovely little Brave Bird here, and I'm just going to protect my guard job. In case you want to stay in, I'd rather get the last kill with Honchkrow, but I believe he can't spat, right? He does not. So we protect the Chomp. It's an AO Chomp. Here's a little protection. And this thing's going to go first, and he's going to ice me. Wow, into... And the Hanch. Hanch has Sash, so he's fine anyway. Let's just get a freeze. Cool, no freeze. Brave Bird's gonna come in here, take out the Biotic. Hanch is gonna go down the recoil damage. That's GG's. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. One on one for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. I'm loving it. We're going up against an absolute banger of a team. Espeon, Milotic, Spiritomb, who you never see, Dragonite, Torterra, and Infernape. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. How should we go into this one? How should we lead it? I think Honchko could be solid here. Just giving us speed control and having us roll out from there. And then uh, who else should we lead? Infernape? I feel like Infernape could be nice. A little fake out control early on in the battle. I do dig it. I think he's going to lead an Infernape of his own. Or I could go into Gyarados just for a solid Infernape. But Infernape, we're going to rock into him. And then we're going to roll into... Bump, bump, bump. Gyarados is always nice. Wish we did have the ice move, though. I wish we did have the ice move. Lucario, I definitely want. Lucario, Gyarados. Kind of leaning towards it. Kind of leaning towards it. Dude, the ice move will be so good up against Torterra and... Dragonite? That would be so good. That would be so good. But I'm just going to bring Gyarados in the back end. I really do like him. I think Gyarados is like top tier all around. He's so good. He's just so good, especially with the Intimidate as his ability. So we're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record. He's gonna end up leading Ga or Gaia. I thought it was gonna be Gyarados. That's Gaia over there. And Spirit Tomb. So he's got Torterra and Spirit Tomb. Such cool shinies. Look at him. Look at him looking all spiffy. And we're gonna throw out Infernape. Let's start with Hanji. So at this point, I just think I just fake out the Torterra and set up a Tailwind, right? Pretty simple play, turn one, right? And then it's just easy play. So Tailwind on the squad. We'll be able to drop this as well. So I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. You dig this turn. 
I do dig this turn, but yo, Tor Terror is so cool, dude. The Sinnoh starters are, dude, they're just all bangers. I cannot wait to see the final evolutions of uh, the Gen 9 ones. Fue Coco, Quaxley, and uh, Sprigatito. Oh my god, yo, I cannot wait. For, you know, once that game comes out, you guys know that this channel is going to be the place to be. For online battles, playthroughs, all, all things on that Pokemon content. All things on Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet. It's going to be amazing. Cannot wait to do live streams on it. Just everything all around. God, so excited for that. But we're going to flinch him. He's going to go for a Psychic with Spirit Tomb. And that's going to deal some damage on Infernape. But Infernape is going to be able to soak. It's gorgeous. So we soak up all day. And at this point, I'm just going to drop a nice lovely Great Bird. And I think I'm just going to uh, U-turn out. I'm just going to double down into Torterra. Hey, that's got to be my play. I'm going to U-turn out. Built. Chipping up some nice damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then what should I go into from here? Should I go into... Because we know he's going to Psychic into me. I think I might want to go into Gyarados here. Yeah. Gyarados is going to be your play. Gary the Gyarados. Gary the Gyarados. Yeah, yeah. Bringing him out. Yeah, yeah. Intimidate coming hot. Love it, love it, love it. And then... My Hunchko is just going to dump on this Torterra. Get him on out of here. Later, Torterra. Get him on out of my game. Yo. Later. Even though he's so cool, dude. I love me. I love me some Turtwig action. Turtwig is just such a, such, such a bro. He's such a bro. Him and Pips. And even Chimchar in the mix. Just such a bro. So he's going to Psychic again, like I predicted. And Gyarados is going to be able to soak all day long. All day long. So good thing we didn't hop into that Lucario. Now we have both these uh, little fly boys going out here. He's going to throw out Milo Milo, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with Milo Milo coming in hot. I'm cool with Milo Milo coming in hot. And then I'm going to just roll into... A Night Slash. I mean, I'm leaning towards a bit of more of a Night Slash here. Night Slash maybe a Dragon Dance here. I think it's I think it's just an easy turn to set up a Dragon Dance against both these Pokemon. I'm gonna just D Dance up. I'm gonna D Dance up and drop a big old Night Slash into this uh, Spirit Tomb. And hopefully we get a crit. That'd be lovely. Night Slash coming in. Crit it, yo, Hanji. Get that crit. Is that crit. That's some big damage. It was crit. Yo. Hanji, I love you. Good old crit. Ice Beam's gonna fly through here over on the Hanjiro. Hanjiro is not gonna take too kindly to that, but he survives from 16. He survives on 16. He's going to go for a will -O Oh, good thing. Good thing your boy is buried. We are lum buried all day. We are lum buried all day long. Yeah, yeah. That's huge. That, lo I, that is one of the best things with, for a lum berry. Like, it's just a free waste of a turn. It's enormous. It is enormous. But we're just going to Night Slash again. Actually, I'd rather Brave Bird. Because I know Brave Bird can KO that 100%. I don't know if uh, if we don't get a crit with Night Slash, it might not be able to KO. So we're going to crunch over here. We're going to break bird across. Our Hunter is going to go down. And then we're just going to bring out Lucario and pretty much solidify the battle. This battle's over. Your boy is tearing it. We're tearing it up. We're going to grab ourselves another winning record for BDSP. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. We love it. You need to stay hydrated, though. Crunch flies through. Chips up a little bit of damage. Break bird's going to come out here. Honchcrow, rest easy, buddy. Spirit Tomb, rest easy as well. They're both going to go down here. And then I think Milotic was probably just going to go for an Ice Beam, so it's going to slide over towards my character. So, Hotch Girl, I love you. Cool little feather hat you got on, but it's time to bring out the boy Lucario. Lucario. Going to have to come out here. And yep, there's that Ice Beam. It's going to slide over to my Gary. Gary's going to say, yo, that's a tasty snack, and he's not going to be frozen. Cool. Cool. Could you imagine if he got frozen? I beg. Bro, what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? That'd be rough. That'd be rough. But our Tailwind's gone, but I, we're, we're, we're thriving on speed. I could bring out Infernape because Infernape could have the fake out, but I just want to get out Lucario. Lucario is just such a cool Pokemon with that orb that is life orb. He's going to bring out Espa. I'll take it off there. Oh, dude, shiny Espa. I love it, dude. Look at the green on it. The green is gorgeous. It's such, it's so cool looking. But yeah, I'm going to drop this, and I think I'm just going to double down to Espa here. I'm just going to double down to Espa. Hey, hold up, 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 hold up. Cool. Flash Cannon's not very effective onto the Milotic, so I'd rather go like this because I think Crunch has a high chance of taking this thing out, right? I think it does. And Milo's gonna protect, yo. That's a gorgeous turn by us, yo. Milo's gonna protect, and we're gonna come straight after this Espeon, doubling down into it. And yeah, it took it out anyway. That's exactly why I switched to my. Oh, we get a crit. My fault. My fault. My fault. We get a crit. We dump on that Espeon, but that's exactly why I want to go into Roar Spear. It's just in case uh, Crunch took out the Espeon and that Milotic didn't protect. Roar Spear would hit uh, Milotic instead of the not very effective Flash Cannon. So, makes sense. 
It makes sense. We're just gonna drop the Savor Spear. And we're gonna crunch double down in this thing. And I believe our opponent just runs. Like, this battle is over. Yep, battle was canceled. There it is, a winning record. We lost our first battle for today's video, but we bounced back with a victory in battle number two and a victory in battle number three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hotchko Lucario Inferno Team showed off to its fullest potential. I don't really think we got Raikou in there too much, but still, you guys already know what Raikou does. Pretty bulky on the uh, on the defensive side, and it, uh, it can do some work with Thunderbolt and set up with the Combine, and more importantly, it can just drop special attack with Snarl. But Hotchko Lucario Inferno Team definitely all showed out today. Got off some big damage and grabbed ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, Click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.